hope everyone's well. Um, welcome back to the uh, basement. Um, the title of this video will be if you get a Model D, a Behringer Model D, do this first. So brief introduction, I've bought a second hand a Model D. Um, I spent about an hour and a half, maybe more yesterday, trying to get a sound out of it, failing super worried that I'd bought a dud, contacted the seller, oh, what's going on, what's going on? Um, he set me on the right path. So yeah, so if you buy a Model D, a, new, uh, a Behringer Model D, do this first. Don't do, don't, don't do what I did. <laughs> do this first. Um, so this won't be a, this won't be a deep dive, even a shallow dive into the Model D. And I'll maybe do that in a few days time after I've lived with it for a few days. Um, but as I say, step one, and that step one is to download the software. Uh, it's called Synth Tribe. So go to the Behringer website, go to their Synth section, or just search Google search um, and download Synth Tribe. And what you want to do is set the MIDI channel. Because I wasted a load of time last night because I didn't have the MIDI channel set and I didn't know I needed the software to set it. I thought I could do it all on the dip switches. Um, but I actually hadn't set the dip switches right anyway. So I'll, I'll explain what that means. So let's just do a lesson, a lesson zero setting up the model d from 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 the get-go okay let's go okay i'm just on the behringer site here um the instrument i'm interested in is the model d so if we just click on that where you want to go is just yeah go to software and then what you want is this synth tribe software um there is a model d updater here which i i'm guessing would be a firmware update um you could do this uh i not I've, I've not done anything with the firmware update um so there's probably other videos out there people that talk about the, that update but yeah what you want is this synth tribe software now what you might be thinking is i've already got a neutron i've got the software i need well what appears to be the case is that the, the neutron uh, has its own kind of software. It's got its, its, its various firmware updates there and it's got like just the application. So I know if we go to my applications, yeah, there's there's the, uh, the, 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 the Neutron software. So yeah, so if you like me, you've already got a Neutron and you think you're sorted. Mm, not, not quite. Um, yeah. And I think as well for some of the other kind of mono synth desktops like the Pro One and the K2, they're also using the Synth Tribe uh, software. Synth, yeah, Synth Tribe. There we go. And probably yeah, the Wasp as well. Not sure about the Deep Mind, uh, but the Cat. Let's just check the Cat. I bet this this I think this uses the uh, the Synth Tribe synth tribe yeah there we go okay so that's the first thing you need to do um now on the mac the synth tribe software it didn't load to my applications folder so it's still sitting in um the the downloads um so let's open it from there i mean i could probably just move it to applications that's probably fine it, it didn't do it automatically so synth tribe yeah so if you don't have it plugged, if you don't have the device plugged in, um, it, it's sort of this front page. It just basically scrolls through the available sort of devices that this software supports. But and it, you can see, yeah, you can see it says a model D detected. Uh, so I think the software is smart enough to know what you've got um, connected. So I'm just going to click get started. Yeah. And the, this is, <laughs> this is a thing that was causing me grief, just setting the middle, the middle, just setting the MIDI channel, right? So, so one to 16. So I've got this set to one happy days. I'll show you the dip switches at the back, um, in a bit. Uh, and you can sort of, so you can sort of set up a load of sort of basic stuff here. Um, I've not, really gone through the software to really work out what's going on this seems like a critical thing if you're going to use control voltage right um, and it seems like kind of nice that, they, that, that you can set this depending on what modular rig you are using um, 
and I've had a little experiment from my modular rig and indeed yeah like tr triggering the uh, the oscillator section yeah w works fine although I, I might want to change that and then there's some other stuff to do as a calibration so I imagine uh, you could do some tuning of the machine um, although obviously you can manually tune the oscillators like any sort of analog instrument so you can sort of set up what you want to go on here and save it and then that and again when I did this this morning that just saved it to my to my downloads folder which is which is the perfect place to put a, the SciX uh, file or, or whatever it generated uh, yeah the SciX file but there we go so yeah so so that's the software component now I'll just show you the dip switches at the back of the um, the machine right let me just show you the dip switches at the back without hitting that camera and that microphone oh, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so when I talk about dip switches, oh, cable, cable disaster, um, I'm talking about these guys here. So it's these, all, all four of them, and then it's sort of little plastic switches are set all the way down, which tells me it's in MIDI channel one. Um, and depending on what combination of up or down these four dip switches uh, sets the MIDI channel either 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 6, 15, 16. Okay, there's, there's 16 MIDI channels um, to choose from. If, if all four of them are in the up position, that's set to channel 4. Um, you'll need to see the manual uh, to work out um what position you need to set the little switches um if, if you've got a specific channel like oh i want my model d to be on channel 11 you know you'll just need to work out what combination they'll be go to the manual i'll just uh, throw a screenshot from the manual into this video uh, if you want to take a screenshot of that do that now um okay let's just get let's just um satisfy ourselves that we can get a sound out of the machine okay so when you get your model d um all the oscillators may be switched off as sort of so, so, as a sort of standard as it comes out i mean i'm not sure how it comes out of the box but you'll have to see um these are these buttons here now the first thing i'd recommend you do you can just put some headphones in here um for a test listen but the first thing to do is just put this test tone on so this just basically plays an a and that's all it does um i'm running into a board with a reverb and a delay so that's 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 why it sounds like it's got a reverb and a delay because it has so a that's your that's your super quick test uh, to see if you know the machine's all, all all fine and all good um also super super useful because you can then tune um um using the oscillators okay so as i said so you've got one two three oscillators you've got a noise oscillator which is either pink or white and you've also got audio in from here so what that means is i don't know for example you could take an ipad or your phone or a drum machine or something uh, and then go in on a 3.5 mil uh, connector like uh, like a, a headphone adapter and you can then have audio coming in and process the audio and i imagine you could process it using the um yeah the filter section super super cool i'll definitely be trying that and just to state this uh, this isn't a deep dive we're just gonna we just you know we just want to get a, a a sound out so we've got our three oscillators here and we've got a volume for each of the oscillators so again when you you know when you when you get your model d all of this might be turned off right so let's just turn oscillate and uh, uh, yeah and um so we can hear i've got my midi keyboard plumbed in and then it's sending midi from the midi keyboard through my daw and to the usb and we're set on channel one so we're going to turn on so yeah so i'm just playing my keyboard nothing 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 because everything's turned off let's just turn on oscillator one still nothing let's start turning the volume up i've got the volume here at about 12 o'clock so we start hearing that coming through awesome
do this this thing is loud so just be aware of your level here um and, and your level here obviously you know if you're doing something crazy with the filters just just watch it this thing can can put out great slabs of sound um so then if you can do this and you can, you know, you can start playing with your oscillator one From there, just crack on in. Um, we can actually, yeah, if we, we can, we can turn that off. We can hear the, we can hear some noise. Okay. It's all good. Turn it off. Back to oscillator one. Mix in oscillator two. Turn it on. Turn the volume off. Oscillator two on its own. This thing sounds really good. <laughs> um, the, the reason I bought a Model D is because the videos I've seen, um, yeah, people were like, people were, people were liking the sound of it a lot. This thing sounds really good. Anyway, that's oscillator two. Let's turn that off. Let's turn on oscillator three. Boom. Now, there's various ways of setting up how the oscillators all work together and, and what the oscillator three does. I've not worked that out yet. Um, yeah, this is just, you know, say we're just making, we're just getting a sound out of it. And then we can mix in our, our other oscillators. And then wh whatever we want to do with a filter, right? tell you what it sounds really good i mean uh the second on the second hand market these go for around 200 pounds you know it's a no-brainer really you know you could spend the same amount of money on a single oscillator module for, for, for a modular setup um which <laughs> which we'll look at in a different video um yeah I mean, just like first impressions, pfft, sounds really well. It's just, <laughs> just really good. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this video together, learn how to use all this oscillator section here, and maybe do some more videos. Um, I did have a little play with the audio in last night, and that, 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 that works, but because I didn't have it working properly, I couldn't really um, yeah, get to grips with what was going on here. Anyway, any questions about the Model D, I almost certainly can't answer them. <laughs> Put them below or, or don't. Anyway, um, yeah, all right. Take care, everyone.